Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So ROR recently went through quite a big update and there's a high hope for this update from the players to resolve some of the issues that the game has at the moment. So what are the things that been optimized? First is the pad dispatch quality rating display. Now the pad dispatch quality has correctly displayed according to its rating. Previously, if you have noticed or I think a lot of players players actually has not noticed about this. The pad dispatch quality at the pad page was always displayed as the same quality as to its combat quality. So for example, if the pad has a S quality on combat, its dispatch quality will also shown as S quality, even though it has an overall low dispatch rating. Players has thought that this too is the same. If you have S combat that pad you should have as dispatch quality but that is not the case pad combat and dispatch quality are separate it has its own quality rating so now the game had fixed that with that the game also displayed the pad both combat and dispatch quality on the pad seal orb making it easier for players to know the quality state of the pad this is very useful and convenient for example when you catch a pad it will show the pad combat and dispatch quality. This makes it easier for players to know if they want to use it or not. And buying the pad at the trading house also is very helpful. With this, you don't have to click over the pad one by one to see their quality. One thing I hope the game will also implement this update is on the pad advance option. When choosing the pad as fodder to be used for the pad advance, Advanced. Most of the time, I want to keep the pad that have both good quality for combat and also dispatch. Currently, it only shows the combat quality, and I have to one by one check on the pad dispatch quality so that I don't accidentally consume the pad that have good dispatch quality. Next, the dispatch talent tree has been relocated to the main menu instead of an option inside the dispatch patch page. For me, I don't mind it. I have no problem accessing the talent tree from the dispatch page previously. So for these changes, I don't see that it need to be changed, to be honest. Next, optimization on the card reforge function. To reforge the card is to reset the card level, but still receive back the EXP needed for upgrading the card level. So to reforge the card, players now have to click on this arrow here first to bring up the panel, and then you can reforge the card. Again, for me, this aid one extra process to reforge the card. Previously, you can just reforge the card without having to click on the arrow to bring up the panel. Perhaps this is to prevent from accidentally clicking on the reforge button when you just want to scroll on the screen. The MVP and mini has now indicated clearly how many MVP and how many mini attempts that you can get rewards on daily. After the update maintenance, the game had been affected to some extent. First off, the auto exploration trial challenge had been reset. I'm not sure if this is intended or not, but this certainly a hassle to players needing to re-challenge the exploration level. Those who are not online immediately after the maintenance end will have their auto exploration reset and lost their bonus EXP until they do the trial challenge again. The trading house item price are also reset. Some of the items which selling at a higher price previously are now listed with low price, incurring crystal loss to the players. But this also prompts the players to start on a buying spree since the item price are essentially reset with a lower price. Some more important things that players hoping it to be fixed are also not optimized in this update, specifically on the attack speed that the game had previously revealed that the attack speed did not have a linear gain like what the players thought it is. So
so with that it is indicating that the attack speed stat in Ragnarok Rebirth has a soft cap or players like to refer it as a diminishing effect what this means is having a high attack speed stat value will not mean that you will have a very fast normal attack attacking speed so this has been an issue to players that opt for the fast attack speed bill players do not see any significant increase of speed on the normal attack even with high attack speed value and with this update that do not address on changing or rework on the attack speed players may have to accept it and those who are going for this build will need to think of ways to optimally make a round of this build right so what do you think of the update is it what you expected let me know at a comment below that's it for this video this time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.